Now, it may come as a surprise that in 2004 alone, more than £1.6 billion worth of prefabricated houses were sold in Britain. They may be quick to put up, but it takes a lot of hard work to bring it all together. They begin with the wood. Planks of spruce are painted on one side with a special emulsion that will protect them from the weather and prevent discoloration. The treated planks are stacked on top of each other. The joints fit together to form the exterior wall. After a thick wooden strut is cut to size, it is slotted into the wall to lock it into place. Cork-studded cardboard is fixed to the inside of the wall to help prevent drafts. But all of the walls have to be fully insulated too. They use wood shavings gathered from factory waste. But first, the shavings have to be pre-treated. They're tossed about in soda and a milk serum. The soda protects them from the fungus that can cause rotting, and the milk serum makes them fire-resistant. This is the top half of the front of the house. It's going to be stuffed with the shavings. They're sprinkled inside the cavity, and then roughly squashed into shape. Finally, they're compressed to half of their original volume. And this is how it looks afterwards. Any surplus is hoovered up to be reused. Next, they fix a layer of cardboard onto the frame to seal in the layer of insulation. A plasterboard is pasted on top of that and after, it's cut down to size. It's fixed into place by a very odd looking gadget, a stapler on wheels. Next, a row of slats is attached which creates a cavity to house the electrical cables. A second plasterboard completes the wall, which is now 30 centimetres thick. Before the house goes to the site, the windows are fitted, so when it's put together it can be sealed instantly and no humidity can get in. All of the walls are brought together with the help of a pulley, and then shrink-wrapped for the journey ahead. They are loaded onto a lorry and then set off to become a new home. Early in the morning, the prefab arrives on site. A crane makes short work of hoisting the whole ground floor off the truck in one fell swoop. The walls have been stacked in the order in which they'll be erected to save time and energy. It's time for a key moment in the whole process. While a worker prepares some mortar to secure the house to its concrete foundations, the first wall is lifted into position. If it is even slightly out, the whole house will be skewed. Once the exterior walls are in position, the partitions can be slotted in. Wall by wall, it slots together like a three-dimensional jigsaw. With the ground floor walls in place, the fitters are quick to add the ceiling. The last thing that anyone wants is for the house to fill with rain. As each section weighs more than a ton, it's a race against time to get the job finished before nightfall. Even in the dead of night, the work continues. The next step is to fix the staircase into position. With that in place, they can build upwards, which they do without even stopping for a tea break.
just 16 hours after the prefab arrived on site, the assembly is completed. The last nail is banged in and all that remains is for the roof to be tiled. Fast, efficient and incredibly practical, the prefab truly is a spectacular achievement.